Good morning! Today's video is a follow-up to this video, where I broke down Drumline the Movie. It was brought to my attention that I got some of the information wrong in this video, so we're gonna talk about what went wrong and how I'm gonna fix it. So this video received a whole lot of comments, 1,176 of them to be exact, which is by far the most comments I've ever gotten on a single video, and this video's only been out for a week, so thank you all for commenting. But most of these comments were criticism on what I said wrong or might have gotten wrong in this video review. And guys, I listen to you, okay? I listen to all 1,176 of you. It has become clear to me now that by reviewing and breaking down this video, Drumline in the movie, I was also reviewing and breaking down show style lines in general. So for those of you who might not know, there are two very different styles of drumline. There's core style, which is what I am very, very familiar with. This is the style used in DCI and WGI lines, which uses a very military-like approach to the details and cleanliness of everything you're doing. And this style of drumming is most commonly, but not always, associated with PWIs. The other style of drumming is show style drumline. Now this is the style of drumming that is used in Drumline the Movie, and the show style line is geared more towards a general audience. With very flashy and exciting visuals. And this style is most commonly, but not always, used in HBCUs. And while I made comments about how the drumming in this video was, you know, not very clean, it was pretty dirty, there are a lot of show style groups that play very, very cleanly. I'm gonna show some clips of that right now. see, these show style lines, these guys are at the top of their game. They're throwing down the beats. And no matter what style you prefer, core style or show style, I think we can all come together and appreciate just some good drumming. So just please know that I didn't make this video to say that I do not like show style marching. Like that is not the case. For the most part on these reaction videos I do, I just kind of wing it. Like I don't script anything I react to. I just go off of what I know. And I know that now for this video, I should have probably put a lot more research into it. But honestly, like no matter how much research I did into show style lines, like it wouldn't compare to somebody who has actually marched in one and has that kind of experience. So. Maybe I just should have avoided this altogether, but I did learn a lot, and hopefully you are learning a lot from what I'm talking about now. Someone even made a reaction video to my video, which I will leave the link for that in the description. This is actually really funny. And honestly, that video helped me a lot with this video, the one I'm doing right now, as well as all your guys' comments and the exchange of direct messages and emails that I got. So thank you all for that. But I have come to terms with the reality that my tone in general in this breakdown of the movie, it's kind of negative, which subsequently makes me seem like I am negatively talking about show style drumming. So I have decided that I will take the video down. But then I remembered that at the end of this video, I opened some fan mail and got some epic chicken merchandise as you can see back here in the background. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna trim out all of the parts where I'm talking about the movie, and I'm just gonna leave in that fan mail part, and I'm gonna change the title and the thumbnail to this clickbaity crap right here. So now, a video of me opening some mail has over 100,000 views, 1,000 comments, and 7,000 likes. That's gonna go into effect as soon as I make this video public, so that'll take a few hours for the changes, so 
you want to see this video one last time, you better go over there now. And I know I made the like goal 5,000 and I said I would transcribe all the cadences if we got that many, but it was brought to my attention by a few different people that these cadences are copyrighted either by Mars Brown College or maybe by the movie, and I could potentially run into some trouble if I do that. So instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write an original cadence and post free sheet music to that. And that is in addition to the 69er cadence, which I will be doing shortly. So this whole experience I'm having with the issues of this video, this actually reminded me of something else that happened over a decade ago. This video, that main. So this gentleman here, he is shredding on that TomTom. -tom. Like this dude is just a fireball of energy here. And the interesting thing is in the comments section, there are what I assume to be core style marchers commenting on how bad and ridiculous this is or whatever. And then there are show style marchers defending him saying that this is really good. So I would like to hear from some of you show style marchers, is this guy actually good? Like, I really don't know. Like I'm very uneducated in this style. There was a parody made by Wu Ten the Hen. And from what I'm gathering from watching the comments and this ridiculous parody video, this guy is a core style marcher and he just rigged like a drum set tom up and is playing with drumsticks and just kind of makes fun of the original okay. Datmain video. And while most people in the comments find this video hilarious, this person brings up a good point right here, that this guy is actually kind of mocking the style that he doesn't know anything about. And it seems like I kind of did the same thing but on a larger scale because my video has like three times more views than these ones do. Once again, my intention was not to offend and I apologize apologize if I did. Okay, we're gonna move on. I'm gonna talk about what I got wrong in my breakdown of this movie, and I'm gonna give myself a second chance to get it right. So the part of this movie that I was probably the most harsh about was challenges. In Drumline the movie, there was a little subplot where the one bass drummer got challenged for his spot by a lower ranking bass drummer. He got beat out and then he challenged him again towards the end of the movie and beat that guy out. So this process of challenging for a spot, this is not a thing in core style marching, but I had no idea that this was actually a legitimate thing for a lot of show style bands. I was just always under the assumption that this was just a thing like played up like by Hollywood, like, oh, we're gonna, you know, make a sport out of this. But no, this actually does happen and is taken very seriously by a lot of schools. So I called it stupid, I called it dumb, I'm sorry, I didn't know that this was a thing, and from what I'm hearing, this is a very effective process for a lot of people. And just because I have never heard of it or done it, it doesn't mean that is wrong, okay? Whatever is working for your group, keep doing that. Another thing I got wrong was when I said that college marching band competitions don't exist. They do. All the college band events I've been to are just exhibition, and I had no idea that there actually is competition. Once again, I thought that this BET Big Southern Classic, I thought this was just, you know, hyped up for the sake of the movie. But this is actually pretty similar to the Honda Battle of the Bands. So this one is the biggest and most popular band competition for Southern show style bands. And these competitions are usually judged based on audience reaction and just general entertainment. So with that in mind, I can see now why Mars Brown College would have done well with this performance using a celebrity, because this is extremely entertaining for the audience. And honestly, like in these DCI and WGI shows, the groups that are tending to win, I literally have no idea what's going on in the concept. These are just like too artsy and over my head. You know, I can absolutely appreciate the clean drumming and visuals, but like, I have no idea what's going on in the show for most of it. And when a group has their tenderline literally stand on stilts and play a feature and they get ninth place, that kind of makes me want audience participation to be part of the score. The other thing I got wrong was, I said marching band scholarships don't exist. And I was specifically referring to how the character Devin Miles in the movie got a full ride for marching band. 
Now, I know there's a lot of bands that have like small stipends that they give out to the students. It'll be usually like a few hundred bucks. Maybe more depending on like if your band's going on a trip or if you're a section leader. It varies depending on the school. Now, I did not realize that a lot of these southern bands, they actually take band just as seriously as the sports teams. And they do indeed give out scholarships worth thousands of dollars, sometimes even full rides. So this movie was actually accurate with giving out full scholarships. But it is more than likely that to get that scholarship, you will have to have a high grade point average, a certain amount of credits per semester, and you may be required to do multiple ensembles within the school. It all depends on the school. Another detail I got wrong was that I said Atlanta A&T University, it does not exist, that is correct, but I said it was based off of North Carolina A&T University, which I actually looked that one up. It is on IMDB's website. They said that it is. So I'm not gonna take full responsibility for that mistake. In reality, this fictional school made up for the movie is based on Southwest DeKalb High School. And they did use members of this high school band in the actual movie, which I'm sure that was a really awesome experience for everybody in that band. So once again, I apologize for getting all this information wrong. Hopefully this video cleared up all of those mistakes. I am interested in reviewing this movie again, not by myself, with somebody who knows this style very well. And if you're interested in maybe collabing, hit me up in the Instagram DMs. Maybe we can figure something out. And please don't forget to click that subscribe button and ring that liberty bell and click that like button. And also consider buying a custom t-shirt, such as this one. I will leave that link in the description. And have a good morning.